so today I wanted to do a look using some of my Glamour Doll Eyes eyeshadows. I haven't used them in quite some time, so I figured I would bust them out and come up with this look that I have been wanting to do for a very long time, like a few months. I've been wanting to do a look with kind of orange and brown and green, so this is the look that I came up with, so I will zoom in so you guys can see the look. Alright guys, so if you'd like to see how I did this look, then just keep watching. So to start off this look, which I've already done, is I just applied some of my Max Painterly Paint Pot all over the lid and a little bit underneath the lower lash line. Now I'm going to be taking Inconsiderate from Glamour Doll Eyes and I'm going to be placing this all over the lid. And I am just using my Sedona Lace EB13 brush to apply that. Next I'm going to be taking Reckless from Glamour Doll Eyes, which is kind of like a burnt orange color. And I'm taking this on my crown brush C433 and I'm going to be applying that into my crease. Next I'm taking a little bit of Chocoholic from Glamour Doll Eyes which is a nice deep dark brown. And I'm using my Sigma Airbrush Blender F63 brush to apply that. And this shadow is just going to go right in the outer V and deepen up the crease. And I'm going to take a tiny bit of Urban Trash from Glamour Doll Eyes, which is a matte black. And I'm going to be using my Sigma Angled Buff Concealer, the F66 brush, to apply that. And I'm just taking a very tiny amount of that black and just placing it right on the outer corner. Just to deepen up the outer V area a tiny bit more. And then just blending that out with a little bit of Chocoholic. Then I'm going back in again with the orange and just blending out the crease area some more and to bring the orange back into this crease area. Now I'm going to be taking Irrational which is a nice deeper green color and I'm using my Sigma Cream Color E58 brush and this shadow is going to go right on the lid. And then over top of that, I'm just going to take Big Brother from Glamour Doll Eyes, which is kind of like a lighter green with a little bit more shimmer. And I'm using the same brush, just the opposite side. Now I'm going back in again with Inconsiderate, and I'm going to blend down the crease a little bit and just kind of really buff everything out so that it's a seamless line. Alright, so now I'm just going to go back in again with the orange on my Sedona Lace EB21 brush and I'm going to run this along the lower lash line. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of Chocoholic on my Sigma Smudger E21 brush and I'm just going to run this about halfway on the lower lash line. And then I'm taking a tiny, tiny bit of Urban Trash, which was the matte black, on my Sigma Waterline liner E17 brush and I'm just going to put this on the very outer corner. Okay so now that that's done I am just going to tight line my upper and lower water lines and also put on some winged liner. For my liner I'm just going to be using the Jessie's Girl liquid eyeliner pen and I'm also going to be applying some false lashes. I am using the Ardell 110 lashes which are these ones here. They look pretty natural, so I really like these ones and thought that they would go well with this look. And I'm also just going to apply a little bit of mascara, and I am using my L'Oreal Voluminous Full Definition Mascara. So I will be right back to show you how to finish up the rest of the face. So for my bronzer, I'm just going to be taking the Park Avenue Princess bronzer that was in the Tarte Off the Cuff palette, and I am using my Sedona Lace FB03 brush. And then for my blush, I'm going to be taking Luminoso from Milani on my Sedona Lace 850. And now just to set everything, I'm going to be taking my Ambient Lighting Powder from Hourglass in Diffuse Light, and I'm using my Sedona Lace 376 brush. And then for a little added highlight, I'm going to be taking my Mary Luminizer from The Balm on my Sedona Lace 217. And for my lips, I already prepped them with my MAC Prep and Prime. And for my lipstick, I am going to be using Revlon's Smoked Peach. 
Okay guys, so that is the completed look. I really hope that you all enjoyed it. Please make sure to follow me on all of my social media networks. They are always linked down below. And as always, I will have a blog post that shows you more pictures of this look, as well as a full list of products used that's also linked down below. And if you'd like to check out Glamour Doll Eyes, I do have a link that is listed in the description box. Okay guys, I will talk to you all soon. Bye.